know you can't see me, I'm driving home, but I wanna have a discussion and I feel like it needs to be talked about um, because racism is definitely real and I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't matter what ethnicity you are or it doesn't matter who or where it comes from. Now, I get it that, you know, just because, like, for example, just because I'm African-American, you know, I may look like I'm from Africa. I may look like I'm from Jamaica, whatever the case may be. But don't automatically assume, like, I feel like you shouldn't automatically assume that I'm from, you know, these parts. Like, I don't feel like that's right. So today I had an incident where, um, pretty much I had, um, I had a patient or whatever and pretty much, um, I don't even know how to put this. Pretty much she accused, she was offended by me, not accused, she, she was offended by me that I assumed that she was a different you know race or I assumed that she was mixed with something and I wasn't like assuming anything I asked her a question because she looked you know Latina to me so I was trying to be respectful and I asked her I was like hey um I'm gonna complete the registration but do you need an interpreter just in case and she looked at me like why would I need an interpreter and I was like, oh, I said, well, um, I said, you know, for different rooms, we just ask what the preferred language is. And according to your account, it says that your your uh, preferred language is Spanish. She was like, I don't know who gave you that or I don't know who told you that, but excuse me, guys, I just got off work. She was like, I don't know who told you that or I don't know who put that in the system, but that's not what it is, blah, blah, blah. And me talking to her, um, I could tell that she was, she was either mixed or she was just, you know, lighter complexion. So I was like, oh, I apologize, ma'am. Like, I didn't mean to offend you if I did. I was just going by what I have in my system, blah, blah, blah. And, um, she was like, okay, it's no worries. She was like, just, she said, just please update it. So I'm saying that to say, guys, never assume, you cannot assume that someone is of a mixed ethnicity or, you know, you can't assume that some, the way that somebody looks is what their, you know, ethnicity is. And I felt bad because I was like, oh my God, like, you know, my intent wasn't to offend her at all. Like, I was just really sincerely trying to figure out how she wanted her, you know, her process to go. But I felt so bad. I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So I went to my supervisor and I was like, hey, this is what happened. I wasn't trying to offend her, but I feel like somebody maybe needs to de-escalate the situation. And I said, because I really, like, I really sincerely was not trying to be rude. So she was like, okay, no problem. Like, she asked me to explain the situation and what happened. And, um... I told her and she was just like, oh, she was like, yeah, I get, she said, I get it. She said, I could see how that could be offensive or I could see how, you know, I could see both sides of the fence. And I was like, yeah, I said, well, I sincerely was not trying to be rude or whatever case may be. So I was definitely just trying to make sure I was coming correct when dealing with her as a patient. So, I'm saying all that to say that racism still exists, guys, and you should never assume anybody's, you know, ethnicity by the way that they look, and I fell victim to that earlier, so I just want to talk about it because I feel like it, it goes untalked about, it goes unnoticed, like, you know, um, my supervisor explained it to me, like, okay, what if you were a patient? And you as you were asked, oh, do you speak French or do you speak type shit? Like, so I get it. And I was like, oh, I said, well, I, I sincerely didn't mean it that way. Like, I, I sincerely apologize, whatever the case may be. So, um, she was like, or do you, she said, or 
like looking based off somebody's looks and stuff like that like if somebody looked a certain way or if somebody looked um like they could be you know a different ethnicity or foreign so i'm just saying that people still feel you know people still feel a way especially if they are not um especially if they are not mixed like my grandmother is very light skinned she looks like she's mixed but she's not mixed with anything her um her mother um rest in peace great grandma she is light skinned and my great granddad rest in peace to him as well he is um brown or fair skinned so i get it but I sincerely was not being racist or I sincerely was not trying to offend anybody. I was just asking a question according to what I saw on her profile. Don't beep at me. So I was just trying to come correct, but obviously I came incorrect. So I wanted to fix it. So later before she left, she was like, hey, she said, I just want you to know I'm not angry with you or I'm not, you know, I'm not mad at the service that I got from you today. I just wanted you to be aware. And I was like, oh, yes, ma'am. I said, I definitely understand. I said, but that was never my intent to offend you or anything like that. Um, and she she was like, hey, walk with me. I was like, okay, no problem. So I walked with her. We went to the gift shop. I bought her um, a candy or a lollipop. And, um, yeah, everything was okay. But I, I just sincerely wanted her to know that I was not trying to be ill or have any ill will or ill intent towards her and she was like no she said i understand she was like you were just doing your job trying to follow pro trying to follow protocol and i was like yeah i was i said but i would never want you to feel like i made you feel you know less than or whatever the case may be she was like no she was like i get it she said in the you know in the heat of things she said i know it may have came off ugly but i was not trying to be ugly whatever case may be so i say all that to say again sorry guys it's really dark again and it's raining i say all that to say you can never assume anybody's ethnicity anybody's race anybody's anything without being sure um so like i said i sincerely apologize if i've ever offended anybody with me assuming because that's never my intention never 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 um sorry guys i know you can't see me but yeah so i just say that i love any and everybody i appreciate you watching this video um please like comment and subscribe i'm gonna call my car series car talk um my car talk vlogs or car car talk conversations yes car talk conversations i love it um yeah so please if you watch this video and you watch it to its entirety please let me know how you feel about it please comment like and subscribe and um if you're not subscribed and you like some of the content that i have um brought to you guys please subscribe become a part of the family um i have some new stuff coming in store for you guys i also have a new intro and outro coming um that will better suit my channel since it is growing and i appreciate you all again i appreciate you i appreciate you i appreciate you um so yeah i will see you later guys bye also guys she also explained to me that <laughs> Pretty much, she also explained to me that, you know, she gets that. She's been getting that since she was a child. And people have always been, you know, kind of nice, nasty with her because um, because of her response. Like, no, why? Why do you think I'm mixed? Like, I can't be African-American and, and be light-skinned. Or I can't be, um, I can't be this without being, you know, mixed. So she let me know that pretty much it used to hurt her feelings as a child and growing up because people thought that she couldn't be, you know, light skinned or pretty with her being African American or with her, you know, with her, you know, being, you know, not mixed. So she said, that's why she said that she never took offense to what I was saying because she's been hearing it for so long. But I just want y'all to know that racism 
comes in all shapes, sizes, fashions, old people, little people, young people, old people, all of that. So I just didn't want to, I don't know. So me being so goofy, I went back in the room. Like I, I got my little computer on wheels and I went out the room and I came back like, hey, and I reintroduced myself and everything, like trying to make light of the situation. And she was like, oh my God, she was like, that is so funny. She said that you, you know, she said that you wanted to reintroduce yourself, you know, make it known that, you know, you, you were trying not to offend me or trying not to do this and that. I was like, yeah, I said, by, by any means necessary, I said, my, my goal here is to make sure that you feel comfortable with me, give, especially giving me your information and your financial information and stuff like that. Like, I never want you to feel, I said, me personally, I never want you to feel that, you know, I offended you as an employee here. And she was like, no, she was like, she said you actually she said you actually did things how they should be done she said and she was like and not just because you're new or whatever she said it's because you sincerely didn't want to you know hurt my feelings or make me feel in type of way she said so we appreciate that um i like i said i said all of that to say that i never want i never want to make anybody feel less than period because nobody's less than nobody is less than unless you deserve it or unless you you know i don't know but it just it just warmed my heart after the fact i was a little upset in the beginning because i didn't want to i never want to seem like something i'm not like i'm not a racist i'm not rude i'm not i'm not this i'm not that so i just wanted to make her feel appreciated and i wanted to I wanted her to know that I see you, sis. Like, I see you. And yes, you can be black. You can be African-American and be light-skinned. You can be African-American and be black or dark-skinned. You can be African-American and be medium complexion or whatever the case may be. You can be Latina and be light-skinned. You can be Latina and be dark-skinned. You can be Latina. Like, I wanted her to appreciate the fact that I saw her. Like, and for, first of all, y'all, she was beautiful as hell. Like, she was so pretty. Granted, we didn't come for her. I was on her child's registration, but I just, I just wanted her to feel like, yes, sis, I see you. Like, I even joked to her, come on, girl, let's go get some drinks. Like, you know? So, that's all I came back to say.